I'm Sheila Thomas and welcome to Lake Splash. Thanks to those of you who are here with us today for joining us and thanks to those of you who are joining us via Facebook. Even though we're doing a little different for format this year, we're still really excited to be here today at Beautiful Bloom Church presenting awards to some de deserving individuals. We would first like to thank and recognize our Lake Splash sponsors, our platinum sponsor, Port of Kimberling Resort and Marina and What's Up Doc. Our gold sponsors, Table Rock Community Bank and El Lago Mexican Restaurant. And our silver sponsors, Branson Bank, Madden Media, Oakley Auto World, Towboat US, Table Rock Lake, Weikert Realtors, and White River Valley Electric Cooperative. Thanks to all of you for your generous support this year and always. Another big thank you goes out to our photographer, Mandy McMurdo. I don't see her right now, but she there she is. Um, and to Bloom Church, the wonderful volunteers here and uh, that are volunteering their time. And thank you for allowing us to be here today and use your t wonderful technology. I also want to thank and recognize our chamber team, Michelle Cochran, LaDonna Weathers, Lynn Harmon, and Virgil Moore. They really, thank you, Kathy Clark. Kathy Clark is clapping for those of you who are out there in Facebook world. They really live out the mission of the chamber and they sincerely want our businesses and our community to grow. They are a great team and I'm so proud of the way they've risen to the challenges uh, of 2020. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time today talking about 2020 because let's be honest, we're, we're really all just kind of over it. Um, but like all of you, in March and April, I was scrambling to revise our business plan and our budget in an ever-changing and uncertain environment. At that point, no one really knew what to expect from this year. So we decided just to concentrate on doing what we do, and that is serve and advocate our uh, member businesses and our community. So we started by calling all of our members, by gathering and emailing out as much useful information as we could find, and we created and continually updated a web page for our businesses to use as a resource. We collaborated with the county commission, our city leaders, and the health department as they discussed potential public health orders that would have an impact on our businesses. We held virtual luncheons and webinars, and then in May, we resumed our in-person events with some changes to allow for social distancing and best practices. And then this summer, we held a successful fire burst in a golf tournament, and it almost felt like normal. We also began assisting Stone County Commissioners with the administration of $3.7 million in CARES Act funds, and we planned and executed a successful $1.1 million tourism marketing campaign in literally less than three months, utilizing a grant from the Missouri Division of Tourism. So we have been busy, and all that really to say 2020 has been tough in, in a lot of ways for, for all of us. But I'm here to tell you and proud to say that our chamber team is tougher. And I can assure you the chamber is prepared to serve our members and our community no matter what comes our way. And in the midst of this wonderful global pandemic, there is some good news. By all accounts, Table Rock Lake experienced record visitation this year. So. So I say, let's go on to 2021. Look for some exciting new initiatives from us next year. And as always, thank you for supporting our work. We couldn't do this without our member businesses. So if you would please help me welcome our 2020 Board of Directors, Susan Mayer. Thank you, Sheila. And hello everyone, it's great to see faces out here and you watching virtually, welcome. I'm pleased to recognize the 2020 Chamber Board of Directors. Steph Becca Brady, Bean of Sellers in the Hangout and she's also our treasurer. Kathy Clark, she's with Table Rock Sunset Properties. 
Bob Fritz with the City of Kimberling City, Tracy Hamilton, Port of Kimberling Marina and Resort, Bill Hassler, he's with Ledgestone at Stonebridge Village, and he's our chairman-elect. Um, Tracy Hudson, she's with the Boys and Girls Club of the Ozarks, and she's our immediate past chairman. Andy Lictus, Edgewater Villa Resort, April Lister with Titanic Museum and Attraction, Larry Maloney with Branson Bank, Kyle McLaughlin with Elite Home Solutions, Dustin Rogers with Table Rock's Best Realtors, Kenny Smith with City of Branson West, Kim Steed, Table Rock Resorts, and she's our secretary, Steve Verhine with Reed Spring School District, Andrea Westerhold with Arvest Bank, Deborah Williams with Kimberling Vision Center, and Dennis Wood with Keller Williams Realty. I would also like to recognize the um, terms that are expiring this year. And those people are Kathy Clark, Tracy Hamilton, Kenny Smith, Kyle McLaughlin, and Deborah Williams. You all will truly be missed. I know some of you are here and we're really gonna miss you. Um, New board members joining in 2020 are David Casaletto, welcome back, David. Um, Dwayne Falk with Table Rock Community Bank. Devin Fisher with White River Valley Electric Co Cooperative. Kelly Power with Ulrich Marine and Extreme Outdoors. And Rachel Strother with Port of Kimberling Resort and Marina. Welcome to all of you. Um, everybody knows I'm not the best spe speaker, so. I'm gonna to try to make this really short and sweet. Um, first, I would like to say, happy Veterans Day to all veterans out there. Many of you may not know, but I'm an, a veteran of the Air Force National Guard. I'm also an Army brat, so I'd also like to recognize my favorite veteran, who was my dad, Gary Sanders. Um, he's an Army veteran who served in Vietnam and numerous other places around the world. Thank you to all veterans. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel honored to have been chairman of the Table Rock Lake Chamber of Commerce this past year. I grew up coming to my grandmother's house with my sisters, coming to the lake, and we made all of our best cherished um, childhood memories while we were at the lake. I never imagined that I'd be able to live here, and I dreamed of living here. So 25 years ago, my dream came true, and I moved to Kimberling City. I met my husband, Sean. We packed up everything from Georgia and moved it here, and I've been here ever since. I love this community. Serving on the board of Table Rock Lake Chamber of Commerce has helped me express that love in a productive way. I would like to thank my fellow board members who have helped and encouraged me throughout this last few years, not just this year, but all of the years I've been on the board. I'm in awe of your unwavering support of our chamber's mission to serve the needs of our members and the success of their businesses. Also, it has been such a pleasure to work alongside the talented team at the chamber who do so much to support our community. 2020 has been a challenging year for all of us, but through it all, we have had guidance from our chamber to help answer questions and support us, which helped many of us through some really troubling times this year. Sheila Thomas and her team are champions for our community. I would like to thank each one of them right here today, LaDonna and Michelle, Virgil, I don't know where you are, <laughs> Virgil and Lynn, she may, I don't know where she is either, but, and of course, Sheila. Thank all of you for showing up and putting in the time to help our members succeed. Our community is an amazing place to live and raise a family. I feel blessed to live in Stone County, and I feel that we are all better because of the Table Rock Lake Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. I know, we're not supposed to hug. Um, thank you, Susan. Uh, we, we appreciate your wisdom. We appreciate your leadership this year, and uh, I always appreciate your friendship. So now let's move on to recognizing some very special people. First is our Guardian Award. This award was created to recognize first responders, law enforcement, firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, and 911 dispatchers, and to thank them for their fearless and unselfish service in keeping our community safe.
Brett protects people in a lot of ways. Brett protects his, his employees, um, and he protects his peers or brothers at arms in, the, uh, in law enforcement. Brett's that person that, even for students that work for him, that people I know personally, that he gets gives scholarships to, to help them uh, with their future. He does the same with law enforcement. Law enforcement may not have the money to buy personal um, uh, protective equipment or uh, other resources, and Brett's that person that humbly just provides. Um, when, when nobody asks, he just shows up and he, and he takes care of other people. He's the go-to guy behind the scenes. No one really knows who helps or where certain things came from. They just arrive. He freely gives. It, there's no holding back to him. He, like with Indian Point, he hires kids and basically takes them in as his own. He's the neighbor that you want. Brett wouldn't want some folks to know, but there are things that Brett does for employees, maybe, let's say, for instance, or even a, a peer whose house burned down. And he's the first one to organize a group of people to, to go to the house and to take care of things that need to be taken care of when those people are suffering the most. He's the one that's there uh, leading the charge, making sure they have the things that they need. He can come by very intimidating, but he is a big teddy bear. No matter if he likes you or not, he still watches over you. <laughs> it would be easier to be a, just a business owner, but Brett has never been that person. As long as I've known him working at, at Silver Dollar City in the parking lot, Brett was never that person. Um, it, it's not okay to just stand idly by. Even though his job alone, his business alone, is one of those jobs that really could take 18 hours of a 24-hour day every day, 365 days a year. Brett's never allowed that to happen. Can be the first one on the scene, anything by India boy, and he is. Um, doesn't think twice about it, leaves his business and leaves it in cap competent hands, and he's done a good job of developing leadership. He has always watched over our family since we moved here, basically. For what I can remember, we moved here back in 96, and he's always been that person you could call and ask for help. After my dad passed away, he watched over us. It still does to this day. Comforting to know that someone's always there. I think Brett deserves the Guardian Award. Brett is kind, he's gracious, um, he's humble, and he's hard when he needs to be hard. And a um, very unique character, and uh, someone who I aspire to emulate. Um, just a, an outstanding man. Brett is a person that you always want in your corner. You want him as a friend, and he is a great person to have in the community. Congratulations to Brett Stump, a reserve deputy with Stone County Sheriff's Department and owner, owner of Indian Point Marina, the 2020 Guardian Award winner. Now, if you'll please enjoy this message from one of our platinum sponsors, What's Up Doc? next award honors our business of the year. The criteria for this award are that the business demonstrate outstanding customer service, a high quality product or service, and a strong commitment to the community. I feel proud to have them in our community. They're one of the, the restaurants that I really was impressed with how they did adapt and immediately adapted. Um, in March, they were doing TV dinners, um, takeout, curbside, 
um, wear your mask, you could still go in, you could social distance, you could sit outside. They kind of did everything outside of the box. They didn't let it limit them to what they could do. It was so telling of how much they care about the community and how much they care about their patrons. Um, they were so inventive of uh, having things to do and picking up and, and just really making sure that they were there for the community. It felt way more like that than it was like them trying to keep their business open. It just really, really felt good to me and I think that they deserve the nomination. They um, are survivors. I mean, they kept everybody going and everybody likes to have a place to, to gather and that's definitely the place to go. Matt and Steph have really, really made an effort to be a big part of our community. Um, Steph is on the, the Chamber Board of Directors. They are so giving and always um, there for any kind of community project. And they're so genuine is what I feel. Um, traveling actually the whole United States for my career and my job, you just don't find that. You, you feel it and it's real. And I do want to say it transfers to their staff, not just the owners. I feel like their staff may be family, but maybe not. And those ladies um, and gentlemen, it just feels like an extension of family and the one word is welcoming, just welcoming. Locally owned that um, work here and their kids live here. They live in our community. Um, they do such a great job. They put in the work. They're there day and night and they produce a really good product and a really great gathering place for people in the community to go to. Congratulations to Matt and Steph Baker Brady, owners of Vino Cellars at the Lake and the Hangout, the 2020 Business of the Year. Did you want to talk? You mentioned it. Okay. Now, here is a message from one of our sponsors, El Lago Mexican Restaurant. <laughs> Our third award this year, the Trailblazer Award, was created to recognize an individual in the Table Rock Lake area that has forged the path for others in our community. This award honors an individual who has demonstrated invaluable leadership, either in business or community development, in the past, at least 10 years ago, and influenced the community in a positive manner. In the beginning, he did a lot to get Kimberling City going, you know, to where it is now. He helped incorporate Kimberling City. He got involved in the real estate business. He was president three times for the Tri-Lakes Board of Realtors, president of the Missouri Realtors. Lane was president of the National Board of Realtors, and a lot of people don't even remember that fact. Being a realtor for 30 years like I was, a real estate broker before I went to Congress, uh, I'd run into Lane at the national conventions, the state conventions, everywhere. I mean, I don't know where he gets the energy. He was fortunate enough to have a wife that was able to keep the business running, which allowed him to go out and travel the country doing the work of the organizations that, that he was on the boards and members of. So Brenda was very helpful in allowing this trailblazer to go out and to do things for folks all over the country. He served on the board of directors of the local cooperative. You never came into a board meeting that Lane wasn't fully prepared because he wanted to make sure that the votes that were being taken were votes that were good for all the members of the cooperative. He even went up to Washington, D.C. and was on a finance 
cooperative board that allowed folks to have money to go out and do development. So he was very involved in a lot of the cooperative. And you know, part of his being political like he was, if there was something that the area needed, either from the cooperative side, political side, you know, whatever it may be, the Corps of Engineers, whatever it may be, he knew some of the people that you should get a hold of. We're what they call flyover country, and when you have someone local like Lane in a position like that, it really attracts attention to our area, and it, people look at it and come in, and you know, it helps the area prosper. Whether it goes in his pocket or not, it doesn't matter to Lane. Lane's there to help the community, not himself, and that's what's so special about him. Being innovative on some things that well, we've always done it this way. Well, with Lane Morrill on the board, you didn't always do it this way. It was good for the people that he was representing on those boards to do what he did. Lane is just a great guy. I don't know where he gets the energy. I can't imagine, you know, anybody uh, more deserving of this award than Lane. I think everybody loves Lane Morrill, so let's, you know, stand up and cheer for Lane Morrill. <laughs>
uh, way beyond doing her job. She has never failed to return a call that I made to her. And I've, I've done it many, many times. I've done it on weekends. Uh, you know, I, I get calls on Saturdays, Sundays. I know personally, I've had conversations with Pam late into the evening. And, you know, I leave those conversations wondering how many hours she has spent away from her family, away from those that she loves. Um, certainly, I'm sure she has other things that she's interested in more than COVID, um, but she's done that um, and it really has gone above and beyond what anyone could expect an individual to do. And I know she has a great team there at the health department, but she is a key part to that. She is not a person that's out there trying to uh, gain recognition. She's just out there trying to take care of, of business, trying to do her job uh, and do as best job she can. She has just a huge heart. Um, for our community. She's very concerned about the overall health and well-being of our community. And I honestly don't think we could have had the success that we're having without such a strong partnership with Pam. As the director of the Stone County Health Department, Pam Burnett has worked tirelessly in 2020 to protect the citizens of Stone County. I can attest I talked to her many times on a weekend or after hours, and as bad as 2020 might have been for some of us, I promise you, she's had a tough hand, but she's handled it like a champ. Congratulations to our 2020 Community Service Award winner, Pam Burnett. So thank you all again for joining us today. Thank you to our sponsors, especially our platinum sponsor, Port of Kimberling Resort and Marina and What's Up Doc. We are kicking off an online auction here in just a few minutes um, that you can place bids on a boat slip, a boat lift, a private wine tasting from our business of the year, or a catamaran cruise. You'll find information on our website, visit tablerocklake.com or right here where you are on Facebook on our Table Rock Lake Chamber Facebook page. So thank you again for joining us. We appreciate all of you, and we will see you back in person in 2021 at Lake Splash. Thanks again.